I'm Lisa Janicki Hinchliff. I'm a professor and a librarian at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. In my librarianship, I specialize in instruction, uh, helping people find, use, evaluate, make sense of information resources for their research and learning. Um, and as a professor, I teach future librarians in the iSchool. I was very excited to hear about this initiative because as an instructor myself, I've struggled with students needing to have content from multiple different platforms, multiple different resources, some subscriptions, some free, some open access, some on the web, some that I provide to them, and wanting to have the ability to work robustly with that material has been really challenging because there's so many different interfaces, so many different resources, and any Time something doesn't work across one of them, it just adds so much burden both for me as an instructor um, and the time it takes to set things up, to coach students, to help them troubleshoot, but it also takes learning time away from students where I want them to engage with the content um, and not necessarily having to troubleshoot multiple tools that we might be using. So I was excited at the idea of sort of interoperable or sort of ubiquitous uh, annotation because for me it made me think that maybe annotation is something that I could begin to use more robustly in my instruction, particularly in the instruction that's not a semester long course, um, which is particularly, you know, time is so precious when you only have 50 minutes with students. I think one of the other things we really have to think about and be very attentive to as instructors, even at an R1 university, is that not all of our students have the same kind of internet access that I might enjoy here in my own home when I'm working at home or in my office on campus. Um, we know that students are using all kinds of different devices, not always the latest devices. And so anything that really helps lower the burden of um, what is demanded in order to fully engage with course materials is just a really important part of thinking through the kinds of equity and inclusive challenges that we wanna be able to face um, and meet. And so that we really are fulfilling the vision we have of education as a way of people, you know, moving forward with their own life goals and the, the visions they have for what they want to achieve. I think another challenge for us always is to be attentive to issues around accessibility for students with disabilities and for instructors with disabilities. Um, and so anything that, again, can help us create um, strategies and tools and approaches that sort of work across platforms have the potential to help us along with that. So I think we're all you know, challenged with so many different things we can join and be a part of. But at a minimum, I like to think about, you know, there's lots of ways to get involved with something. Sometimes it means that you just want to be kept up to date. So how, you know, if that's that's a possibility for librarians, I think it's also helpful for us to keep up to date on behalf of our institutions and to pay attention to these sorts of things. Obviously, an institution or an individual that has the capacity to contribute personally to this work, whether on a technical level or also in a promotion and advocacy, is going to build the coalition to a stronger point. I also think that if we're users of tools that we see on the list that, you know, who are already joined up, we can speak up. And, and thank them for that. And if there's tools that we'd like to see, of course, we can also serve as an advocate for people joining or organizations joining the coalition as well. Um, we sometimes think as individuals that, oh, this isn't for me as an individual, and maybe it is or maybe it's not. But we can really also think about our role in advocating for the kind of environment that we want with the tools we use, particularly those tools we pay for, uh, but even tools that we make use of under different kinds of business models. So I'd really encourage anyone who who's interested in this notion of better learning environments for students, more robust teaching environments for instructors, to take a look at what the coalition is trying to achieve and to see if there's a way to contribute to that.